All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. We'll get started with the temperatures, which are still on the cold side here in the uh, valley. Very clear and sunny skies as we enjoy the close of our day here in Fargo, but you can see on our home of economy view in Devil's Lake, not the case. Southwest winds at three miles per hour. That's not too bad, so not much of a feels like difference between our temperature right now in the FM area. Single digits through Lakes Country for Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls. That extends all the way up into Rosso County. As we look off to the west, it's a little mild there in the James River Valley right now with 12s showing up there and where we had 20s from the big storm and where snow was falling off to the far east. You two have cooled off, but still the warm spots visibility an issue across portions of the Northland Highway 2 and points north seeing visibility of zero reported in can do three quarters of a mile for Devil's Lake and half of a mile in Roseau County. Look at Faustin there on Highway 2 uh, seeing some visibility issues down around a quarter of a mile as well. Now, the clouds will play a huge role in our forecast tonight. Notice the clear skies here. It doesn't look that clear, Hutch, because it's white. Well, that's a visible satellite. And during the daylight hours, the sunlight reflects off the snow banks. And we can see the snow that's not moving here is snow. This little batch of clouds extends right here along Highway 200, you can see. So that's moving in right now into the Devil's Lake Basin. Here's the exiting cloud cover from the Colorado Low as it works its way off to the east. There's the impact of the fog in the Devil's Lake area right now and the low clouds that are moving in up north. But where skies stay clear, temperatures have a chance at dropping pretty low. Here's what I mean this evening. Single digits for all areas. Patchy fog setting up. If you are fortunate enough to get the fog, not only will it create more of the beautiful hoarfrost that you've shared so many photos of, but it's going to blanket you and keep you a little bit warmer. Where we have clear skies, you'll see the stars out there, but well, the temperatures will fall precipitously as we'll see those sub-zero readings in places. Now, it does look like the best chance of that will be on the North Dakota side of the river. We could see some uh, valley counties here in western Minnesota seeing near zero degree readings as well. And that batch of clouds we talked about that we could actually confirm on the visible satellite up here could limit some of the cooling that's going to take place in the Devil's Lake Basin. So the forecast model numbers you see here not lining up. I do think we'll be around five to 10 degrees below in some spots in southeast North Dakota, the Red River Valley, and it'll be milder to the far south and far east where there'll be a better chance of some fog. Tomorrow, we're gonna say there's a good chance of seeing some sunshine. Once again, for many of our counties, it's not going to equate to a lot of warmth, but the warmest temperatures will be off to the east as we'll have a chance to soar into the 20s in Hubbard County and out there for Babe the Blue Ox. Otherwise, it's gonna be another cool night with more fog here and there as our quiet stretch of weather continues. For tomorrow afternoon in your hometown, after starting out below zero, that's pretty cold, so we won't get too warm. Most of us near 10 to 15 degrees. Travel forecast, quiet weather all day Thursday and all day Friday. And then as we head into the uh, Saturday morning time frame, a little weather wiggle will bring a chance for some mixed precipitation in through Kansas City. Keep that in mind if you're heading south rather late for that system. Otherwise, pretty quiet for game day. Gorgeous shot here. What a scene with the sun almost making its wink through that barn. All right, temperatures do improve a little bit for the weekend. We're up to 20 degrees. We're quiet. Then next week we stay milder. 20s return, the clouds return, and then flakes look to be a part of our forecast midweek. That's all right. Yeah, we can, we can do this. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Hutch. You bet. Hey, our